four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranchin here, bringing on stock of commentary. This is gonna be the losers match in group H of the Avalon MSL round of 32. Much up against Firebird Hero, much at the five o'clock as the pink Protoss, and we're gonna Firebird Hero as the yellow Terran at eleven o'clock, and much already sending out a probe. Wow, so much gonna start this off with some cheese! Gonna have some cheese! It's a very interesting decision, I gotta say, for much. Uh, honestly, I believe he's a player that can beat Firebird Hero. <laughs> Firebird Hero just sitting there yawning. Oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, I honestly think uh, the matchups and the way the players play against each other, I just think, honestly, much has an advantage just to start off. His uh, anti Terran plays 56%. He's always been a anti Terran specialist versus Terran specialist. His other two matchups are 50%, but his versus Terran is 56 Always been his specialty. So he's going to run with the probe at the 1 o'clock position. Going to put down a pylon there, most likely. There comes the pylon. Also going to put down a gateway and such. Firebed Heroes versus Protoss, however, is historically bad. It's always been bad. It's at 37% at the moment. And it's always been his worst matchup. His other matchups are over 50, if I remember correctly. Uh, he was pretty good Terran versus Terran. Pretty good Terran versus Zerg. But his versus Protoss is very bad. He had that one stint in an OSL or an MSL, I forget, it was maybe half a year ago or so, where he played very good against Protoss, surprised everybody, but then got overwhelmed and completely crushed by Bisu. But yeah, Mach is going to put down his gateway, and Farbe here, apparently I believe he was going for a wall-off. Yeah, putting down his supply depot and his racks. He's not going to be able to get a full wall-off just with this. He's going to need another supply depot eventually. We'll be able to block with an SCV or a Marine, kind of put in a partial block. It's not going to hold too long against Zealots, though. He's going to be forced to put in another supply depot. He's putting down his refinery now, so we're going to see a factory from him fairly soon. Pretty much standard play. I've seen a lot of players on Carthage 3 actually not... This is Carthage 3, by the way. Not actually walling off. Completely just putting down a barracks at their natural. Just to float away later. Just put in, like, a partial blockade. Just most likely to uh, ease maneuverability as the game goes on. So, yeah, Firebird Hero is actually deciding against, like, going for full wall and deciting to play safe. And he really needs to play safe against the Protoss opponent because he's he, he did once play an over-aggressive Vulture strategy, which won him several games until players started reading and knew this exactly what he was going for. And Firebird Hero, not searching for any cheese, does have his first Marine out to kind of hold that blockade, but doesn't not searching for any cheese. He's sending his SCV down. He's going to now start building a factory with that one SCV inside of his base. And much... Just sitting at that 1 o'clock position, does have his gateway up. Yeah, most likely can have some zealots running out to start attacking Farbid here. Now he does have the one single pile on, just scouting, seeing how many forces, what kind of defense there is. And I believe there was a supply depot being put down by Farbid here. So he's putting down another supply depot and using his probe to kind of be an annoyance. So Farbid is going to lose the initial marine and going to ha have that zealot there. Far much is going to have that zealot there. Ha does have the cybernetic score at the 1 o'clock position, actually. It's very interesting. He's going to start attacking that su uh, supply depot, but with the Marine there, the supply depot is not going to go down. Not nearly badly enough damage that Zealot is going to be forced back before his shields go down completely. Range upgrade coming in for f much at the 1 o'clock position. I'm very surprised how he's putting all of his tech there, not just his assault buildings, but his tech. Just very close to Firebird Hero's base, but Firebird Hero is locked inside of his main, so that's most likely what much is trying to accomplish. Just completely lock Firebird Hero in inside, giving him absolute control of the map. If he manages to keep this hold, uh, this hold on Firebird Hero's base, he's either going to force himself inside of Firebird Hero's base, or at least he's going to be able to completely out macro him by expanding all over the place, force Firebird Hero to go for drop tech, or just uh, to force him to try to break out. Firebird Hero finally having an SCV at the 1 o'clock position, did follow the uh, much as probe there, very badly damaged though, barely manages to escape. Firebird Hero now actually putting down a bunker just beside his choke, going to put his marines there just to be completely safe. So he's going to be able to repair that. Much is going to need range to start attacking. Robotic facility actually be put down by Much at 1 o'clock position. So he's putting all of his tech there. He's going to go for drop tech alongside. Wow. Full on. It's amazing. Firebird here also, I believe he started researching something at the machine shop. And <laughs> Dragoon is still trying to hunt down this SCV and finally kills it. I think range might have kicked in at that moment. Not quite sure. I'm not quite sure if it's ready yet. Never mind. It's not quite ready yet. Felt it shouldn't have been ready yet, but yet yeah, first tank now out. I'm assuming Firebird Hero is going for ra uh, for siege mode, so he can start sieging those tanks and really force Much not to be able to attack the bases. Much is, however, going for drop tech, and it does have one pylon there at his naturals, at his mains choke, just to kind of pull on a partial block. We're gonna see whether he actually decides to expand soon. Still range on the way, and robotics facility. I assume you know he is gonna go for. 
drop play. He's a player that's very known for very, very impressive reaver play, although he's kind of unlucky with his scarabs. The scarab, the reaver drops perfectly, the scarab goes off and doesn't kill as much as he would want to kill. Uh, just more pylons being put inside of his main right now. I'm assuming we're going to see a shuttle soon, and we're going to see much fairy some forces. He does have three dragoons just outside of Firebat Hero's base, alongside a couple of zealots, and Firebat Hero already has two tanks. The zeal uh, dragoons are just gonna start attacking the barracks, but the tanks of siege, at this point, they're not gonna be able to do much. Much moving in with the zealots, taking shots. One of the zealots almost dies, luckily for him. He's gonna be able to retreat a little back with it. He's getting robotic support, so he's actually gonna go for reaver play. His first shuttle should be coming out fairly soon. And he's just doing a beautiful job of still keeping Firebird Hero in his base. Firebird Hero is going to have to be very careful once he moves out. He's putting down his command center and his engineering bay for those turrets. First shuttle not out for much. But Firebird Hero is going to be, have to be very, very careful once he decides to move out of his base. Just to make sure that he doesn't get caught. Much actually walling off, almost walling off completely his natural, his main, I'm sorry. Possibly thinking of, uh, just knows that most of his buildings are at the 1 o'clock position. is going to have very, very short route to go to Firebird Hero's base. And most likely what much has in, has in mind has the academy coming up, in fact, so he's probably going to have compass stations up and turrets being put everywhere, so he's going to be ready for drops. Compass station now coming up just to scan, so he can just constantly scan that 1 o'clock location to know what's coming at him. So he might be able to scan that shuttle and know that reavers are coming his way. Let's see, two zealots now inside of the shallow alongside the reaver, so we are going to see some reaver play. Turrets being put down everywhere by Fire Hero, but if much decides to circle around, you might barely get the th get it through. He has to be very careful not to get his forces heavily shelled, though. If he moves very heavily along the ridge to the north side, he might still get him through. He's actually going to get him through very close. The tanks pops down one single zealot, and the reaver to attack the tanks! Oh, four tanks there. Oh, I'm sieged up. And yeah, Zella takes some shots, but not too much. Dragoons are actually now going to move out. So much is actually distracting here. Almost loses his shuttle. Barely managed to keep it alive, but trying to distract Firebat here on one side while he moves in with his Dragoons at the natural expansion. Going to continue showing that Rax, that Rax might actually go down. The Rax does go down. So now Firebat here is going to be forced to rebuild the Rax so he can continue building factories. Still has some tanks. There is repairing, but much almost lost his shuttle. That would have been horrible for him. He's going to go now pick up a second Reaver. Just got a few more shots at him than he wanted to. Although oh, Firebird Hero was luckily enough, did start building another factory before he lost his racks. Didn't have enough timing. And that is now expanding on his natural expansion. I really just think he should be able to get a decent economic advantage if he keeps this up. Adding in more gateways at his main now, so he can just, you know, so he won't have all, all of his forces only at that 1 o'clock location. But he still has a very quick resupply route there as long as he keeps that. He's not allowing Firebird Hero to, to put down an expansion. Oh, I think Firebird Hero does have enough forces now. He does have an army, which is upgrading weapons. He's going to start off by floating down an engineering bay, putting it down. So there's a building blocking any forces from coming in. Reaver's actually going to be dropped down, kill the SCV that was on the ground. And then just going to stay at range. And Firebird Hero is still not putting down his, his command center, just now putting it down. But all the SCVs are going to be there, are possibly going to be attacked by much here. There's no SCVs being ferried towards that expansion yet. Some Marines and Observer there for much did get damaged. Reaver again coming down. Couple of Scarabs go off. Do kill the comms I changed before it comes up. And just Scarabs going to start attacking the Command Center. Going to force the Command Center to float up. So much being very aggressive here attacking that Command Center. And Farbidro finally has some SV, some tanks there to prevent much from doing too much more. Much still doing beautiful harassment so far as those two Reavers inside being very effective. Adding in even more gateways. Third gateway inside of his main. Now... Mining fully at his natural expansion. I really think if just could keep steady, we'll be in a pretty good position. As actually dropped as Zella to take the initial shots, gets one scarab off. The scarab is gonna do nothing. Oh no, <laughs> the turret attacking, just attacking that one observer that was right above the turret. Very cool to see Marines <laughs> see those missiles gonna fly in circles. Heat seeking missiles. Barracks not being put down again for Firebird Hero, kind of to block off his natural expansion. Much has. Really, the contain has been broken at this point. Uh, Farbiter has a lot of tanks, but much still has a lot more forces down the ground. A lot of dragoons. It hasn't built much in the way of zealots. Just has mostly dragoons alongside his, alongside his reavers in that shuttle, and has observers some on the field. I believe he got even more observers. He should be thinking soon of expanding at the lower left hand. I'm thinking, you know, just get a quick economic expansion. I think he can do that. Is trying to attack the tanks at range with the Reaver. Trying to kill the Rax before it even comes up. Is just attacking it. Trying to hit that SCV. 